Take your eight. You two, take your hand out. Eight. Kira. Ay, naku. Yucky. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Auntie Mel Mel. This morning it has been a crazy morning. Like, right from the beginning, I wanted to pull my hair out. Juliana's been fighting me almost all morning, not wanting to eat our breakfast. The twins got so upset because um, Auntie Mel got them out of bed and they thought I was going to get them out of bed. So it's been um, a morning full of screams and cries. And then while Juliana is not wanting to eat her breakfast, she goes, I need to go pee pee. For a second I thought, okay, she's totally just trying to get out of breakfast. But I took her anyway because I didn't want to risk it. She really did go and I was really proud of her. Every time the girls see me, they want their full attention from me. Which I understand, you know, I'm their mom, but sometimes it's just overload. So I'm testing out a new lipstick and I'm filming a review. And I'm also going to head out here within the next few minutes. I'm bringing Juliana and we're going to go to Seattle. We live in the outskirts of Seattle, so it's quite a drive over there. And we're going to bring my mom to her doctor's appointment. I figure while we're there and we don't want to hit traffic coming back home, we might as well just spend the day there. So maybe go to lunch afterwards or something. We'll see if my mom's down for it. Ooh, I love Mondays. Captain Monday. I still limit myself to one cup of coffee because this is the thing. I know for me, coffee is uh, a stimulant. It makes my brain just totally wired and it just gets me racing. My thoughts are just like 100 miles per hour. So I love it, but I have to be careful with it. Going to lunch with my favorite people. It looks like it might be a little bit of a wait. It'll be a 20 minute wait, which isn't too bad, but Juliana and I are gonna go play in the play area. Mama said she's too tired to walk, so she's just gonna chillax. That was fun! Our seats are ready, and we have just about an hour before mom's appointment, so we better hurry! Ice cream baby, that's dim sum. Or they're preparing the dim sum. There's a packed house here. I've never seen it this busy. And it's a what day is it? Monday. You dope. We're done with mama's appointment. It was actually a like a quick appointment. It was just a genetic like interview so they want to know mom's medical history and family history and it's like oh my gosh this seriously could have gone down over the phone it's gonna be annoying. but at least on the bright side we got to hang out and eat delicious food this girl didn't seem to mind at all but i'm sure she'll have a nice sleep in the car hi miyako why are they naked i miss you excuse me can you take your hand out of your pants? Thank you, or shall I say diaper? Hey. <laughs> take your eight. You two, take your hand out. Eight. Kira. Ay, naku, yucky. Oh my goodness, guys. Juliana's tripping over this palette I got from one of my beauty boxes. There's this company called beautybox5.com, and I think per box is like five bucks or 10 bucks. Like, it's pretty inexpensive per month. I bought, I think I bought like a year long subscription and I'm really honestly like not too impressed with the stuff that I get. But this one, Juliana is just so excited. Oh here, let me show it. You get like five different samples. Like there's, what is this? A moisturizer and an eyeliner. That's apparently 20 bucks. What? A $20 eyeliner. I've never heard of that brand before. And this palette that's like $10, but it really doesn't look like ten dollars. Anyway, Mommy, it looks me like do, that. Can me do it real, please? No, you could only do a pretend. No. <laughs> anyway, oh, and it came with this like um, coconut oil deep conditioner. No, I already said no. You asked Daddy if you could put on makeup. Go ask Daddy. I already said no. Okay. 
Daddy said no too? Honey, did you say no? Yeah, I said oh. no. Two against one, Missy. <laughs> oh, wow, that's just your saliva. He <laughs> traded. She now gets to have the nail file. And she gets to use it. <laughs> Whoa! Dirty. Dirty. I like the way she says dirty because it sounds like she's saying Judy. Dirty. Say dirty. Dirty. Hey, hey, yucky. Dirty. dirty. <laughs> A cheerleader every time then, 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 then I need him. Oh, I think that I found myself a cheerleader then, 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 when I need him. Dun. Dun, 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 dun. We just came downstairs, and that song is just, it's been stuck in my head like this whole week. And I heard this amazing story about the artist of that song. I don't even know his name, but somebody shared it on Facebook that he wrote that song and like made a whole video from a thousand dollar production at, um, I think it's Jamaican. Never heard the story. And like, it was like a total flop, like nobody picked up the song. And then six years later, his girlfriend, I don't know if it was an ex-girlfriend or what, gave that song to the DJ to play. And then the DJ really liked it and then he, um, sent it to somebody at a big record label and then they vamped it up and now it's like the number one hit in the country. Oh my, I felt like I found myself a cheerleader. Snacking on some watermelons. Brings me back to the days when I was pregnant with Juliana and I had literally a watermelon every single day. I remember Benji at night, like 11 o'clock at night would go to Safeway and buy a watermelon for me. And he'd always cut watermelons, it was so sweet. Green juice going on, and this one is all sorts of stuff. We've got some of these to so sweeten it up kale, cucumber, carrots, green apples, and lemon. Juliana, I know we need ice, it's all good. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. I dangerous. That's dangerous. Yeah, it's dangerous. So, what do we have to do? One thing, what is that? It's cucumber. You mean me eat that. Uh, yeah, put this inside this container, no, please. No, I'm eat it. Okay, but can you put the rest inside of there, please? Yeah. Whoa, it kind of looks yummy. It kind of looks yummy. Well, actually, you know what? It is actually very yummy, and it's very... Sweet. And it's very good for the body, because it's very what? Sweet. Yeah, it's very healthy. Very sort of. healthy. That's what I was looking for, but... Can you put that in there, too? Do you remember what this is called? It starts with a K. It says kale. Kale. Good job. Can you put that in there too? Yes. Do you remember what this is called? It starts with a K. It says kale. Kale. Good job. Can you eat this now? Yeah, go ahead. You can eat that. Good job. Oh, I can wait. Okay, put it in there. What are you guys making for us? We already make something very easy. I felt so ridiculous with a full face of makeup on at the gym. <laughs> I'm all worried my lashes are gonna fall off, but I'm doing the first impression review on those lipsticks, so I didn't right. want to take it off and then like X the whole um, the review. Stuff. Anyways, Mia's obviously impatient and I'm trying to teach her to be patient like a circle. Patient like a circle. No, show mommy. Circle. There you go. Try again. Again? What do you say?
What do you say, Mia? Did you make one for me too? Um, yes, I do. Did you want it? Yes, where is it? Oh, please. Oh, I can't. It's heavy. Okay, I'll get it. Thank you so much, Juliana. Thank you, Daddy. Okay, it's dark. It's dark. Mmm. That's really good. Okay, go ahead. Open. Chocolate. <laughs> chocolate hearts. Yummy chocolate heart. Whoa. Oh, what are you doing? Excuse me. Girls are in bed, and this is what I'm gonna conquer tonight. It looks messier than it really is, but I swear I have this organized in some way. So I just finished filming the end of my first impression. I forgot to mention I also posted up on It's Judy Time a first impression on the Maybelline lip blurs. So it's like a matte lip color. And I've worn it in several of the vlogs and uh, got lots of compliments on it. So if you want to know my final thoughts on that, I'll have a link down below. And I thought today, you know what? I'm going to wait for Benji to do a comment of the day. He's just finishing up with a shower. Conquered. Yes. I just got done editing and I heard some like banging downstairs. Let's see what it is. And I want another glass of wine. Oh, it smells good. What are you doing? Um, making you curry. Oh my gosh, it's like 11.30 in the evening. <laughs> I wanted it ready in the morning for you girls. Cutting garlic, that's what that bang-in was. Oh, really? Yeah, well I heard it from upstairs. You can't smell anything? Not until I open the door. Oh, okay, well that's good. I'm glad the girls probably can't smell anything. Yeah. Them. Oh my goodness. These potatoes were literally just dug out of the ground probably a few days ago. The guy was telling me they were picking these carrots out. Oh, so you just want to cook it while they're fresh. Spring onion that <laughs> also was just picked. I'm caramelizing my onions. I've got garlic again from the farmer's market. Okay, so you see, only a foodie would be doing this at 11.30 at night. And the beef, you know, this is my favorite beef right here. Benji and his food. You know, I'm really grateful because I'm not, I'm really not the cook in this household. It's really Benji and I'm just really blessed to have a guy like Benji that really cares for his food because I'm not, I'm honestly not much of a foodie. Like I good, I like good food, but I'm not, um, I don't know. I guess I don't really pay much attention to food as much as he does. So I really appreciate that he does it for our family. Okay, so I'm doing comment of the day by myself because Benji is still downstairs cooking. But this is from Karina Manal Manaloto, and she writes, I was laughing out loud when you were eating beefsteak at your mom's because my family has those exact same white corral plates with the pink flower. Maybe it's a Filipino thing to have those plates. <laughs> you guys don't know corral plates. Those are like legit, you know? In fact, we need to buy corral plates, especially now that the girls are getting older and they're going to soon use like legit like real plates because Corel is like top notch you could throw it you could throw it across the room and it will not break I honestly don't think it's a Filipino thing I think it's a Navy exchange thing like um, I'm assuming your father was military but um, my parents would always buy Corel at the Navy exchange because it was like it was quality and then I think 
I mean, assuming since Navy Exchange, probably more affordable. But, um, that's so funny. That totally reminds me. I totally need to get Corel. Tomorrow's going to be a super fun day. We're going to be playing tourist because my mom's BFF from the Philippines is coming over for the first time to Seattle. So we're going to um, be taking them out to the duck ride and it's going to be so much fun. And I already reserved tickets ahead of time because, like, last time I tried to take my cousin to the duck ride, it was awful. So... Anyway, that'll be fun, and I can't wait for you guys to join us tomorrow. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!